Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. To get started with today, I'm going to be comparing Copic markers and Prismacolor markers. To get started, I'll talk about Copic markers. Copic markers have a very nice brush nib. I think that might be half of the reason why they are so expensive. <laughs> They're very expensive. But uh, what's nice about Copic markers is they have four different types of their marker. They have a Copic Chow marker, a Copic Sketch marker, a Copic Wide marker, and finally, a Copic Classic marker. Copic Wide markers are actually the most expensive out of all of them, and they are way too expensive. <laughs> Uh, anyways, moving on, there are Prismacolor markers. Prismacolor markers are very saturated, like very saturated. Or I like to call them juicy, <laughs> but that's not the correct word. Anyways, they have two different types of their marker. They have a chisel nib and a bullet nib and a brush and a bullet nib, but you can't refill Prismacolor markers. So actually, I love both of these markers, but all in all, I'd say I would just get Ohuhu brush markers, to be specific, Ohuhu pastel brush markers. They just came out with them, and they're super cheap, but Ohuhu is a great brand, and their markers are awesome, so I would honestly just get those. 